I am Anisha Law, uh, host of today's webinar. Um, there are many little ways to enlarge your child world. Love of books is the best of all. By Jacqueline Kennedy, a famous American writer. Myself, Anisha Law, a PYP teacher in Walkhart Global School, Aurangabad, Maharashtra. And I welcome you all in my webinar. And the topic is importance of reading. So now we will start with our webinar. Yes, so we will start with the importance of reading. What is the importance of reading? A child's reading skills are important to their success in school. They will allow them to access the breadth of the curriculum and improve their communication and language skills. Reading can be a fun and imaginative time for children, which opens door to all kinds of new world for them. Study shows that reading for pleasure make a big difference in child's education performance. Children who lead for enjoyment every day not only perform better in reading tests than those who don't. So reading develop a broader vocabulary, increase general knowledge and a better understanding of our culture. Let's look at some importance of reading. So what are the importance of reading? So importance of reading is, uh, there are so many benefits of reading. Uh, they, there are some scientific benefits also of reading that is, improve brain connectivity, reading improve their, your brain connectivity, increase your vocabulary and comprehension, empowers you to empathize with other people, adds in sleep readiness and reduce your stress, reading, uh, reduce your stress, lower blood pressure and heart rate. So it is good for your health also. Fights depression symptoms. If anybody have uh, dep uh, depression problems, so reading is a good reading is good for them, and prevent con cognitive decline decline as your age. So this is the benefit of reading. Scientific benefits. Okay. So now we will come on next. That is components of reading. So uh, there are five components of reading. Uh, those are phonics, vocabulary, comprehension, phonological awareness, and fluency. These are the five components of reading. It is important in reading. Next, we have types of reading. There are different types of reading. Uh, uh, there are uh, oral reading and silent reading also. So reading is divided in two parts here, that is intensive reading and extensive reading. So in intensive reading, it is reading for specific information. About the specific information, we do this intensive reading. And the other reason is concent concentrate on vocabulary and grammar. In this intensive reading, we concentrate on vocabulary and grammar part. Second type of reading is extensive reading. And this type of reading is for reading for pleasure. And second is chooses the material independently. In this, they are, reader are free to choose their material. So there are different type of uh, reading in intensive that is linguistic reading and content reading. And in extensive also, there are skimming, scanning, all these are the 
part of different type of readings uh, for reading there are different stages we divide reading in different stages these stages are started from stage 0 this is called a pre reading stage and uh, this uh, reading stage is start from 6 month to 6 year the age group is 6 month to 6 years and it is pre school reading means from the pre school uh, you have to develop reading habits in your children now we come on next stage that is stage 1 and it is initial reading and decoding and this in this comes grade 1 and beginning of grade 2 now we come on next stage that is stage 2 confirmation and fluency in this stage confirmation and fluency will come and grade 2 and 3 include in this and age groups are 7 to 8 years now we come on next that is stage 3 this is reading for learning the new now this is the stage where children learn new things and in this grade 4 to 8 we will include grade 4 to 8 in this and age group is 9 to 13 years next stage is stage 4 multiple view points it has high school and age is 15 to 17 years and last stage is stage 5 concern construction and reconstruction now we come on the stage of constructions and reconstruction and it is college and beyond and age is 18 plus so these are the different stages where we can uh, divide the stage of reading now we uh, when we are talking about reading uh, now we can use as a parent as a teacher we can use some strategies so i'm sharing some strategies with you, with you all that what are the different strategies we can use with our children so uh, we can use uh, play word games read aloud every day model reading as an enjoyable activity put learning to use and listen to books so these are the different strategies we can use uh, to develop reading habits in our children Uh, in this we can uh, con uh, include read to your child every night so please make it your habit as a parent or that you can read every night for your child engage children senses while learning when they are learning use all five senses in that now uh, i'm sharing some ways to encourage good reading habits in kids how ca you can encourage your child for good reading habits so i'm uh, sharing some good habits and these are create a reading area it is the important thing that you can create a comfortable and good area for your child encourage reading at home and everywhere in between it is important that you can uh, you also read with your child encourage them if you are reading at home they are also start reading so start from yourself set an example so it is the important thing that you start reading and set an example for your child make connection between reading and real life when they are reading something they are reading any story anything uh, you can connect it with the real life examples you can share your examples or examples of some famous personalities so that it is easy for them to understand keep reading material in the house if you are keeping some material at home means uh, some story books some novels uh, to their age appropriate it is good if there is material available at home then they start this habit visit your local library in this today's time when today is a time of digital time technology's time so i don't think that anybody of you visit libraries so do it is as your habit that visit your local library with your child talk about what your child is reading what they are reading please talk about that so that it uh, encourage them so now there are some reasons why reading is important for kids 
why we are focusing on reading when they are in school or at home also so there are some uh, reasons for uh, kids why it is important so it expands their vocabulary if they read it is their habit so it increases them at it and expand their vocabulary it makes them better at it if they continuously reading something so it makes them better it has built independence and self confidence if they are a regular reader it build their confidence also it keeps them safe if they are reading something they experience something they are safe it helps them make sense of the world around them because it uh, if they are reading something so they know about the world it leads to their future academic success so the, uh, you, their success also depends on their reading habits it enhances their imagination if they are a good reader then they are a good imagine they have a good imagination also it entertains them if they are doing reading it ent entertains them also it improves their grammar if they are regular reader so it improve their grammar also it improves their writing skills also so there are so many benefits of reading so it is important as a teacher as a parent for you to uh, start uh, uh, motivate your child for reading so in today's world there are some reasons for declination of interest in reading why in every day uh, why in today's time reading interest is decrease what is the reason so there are some reading uh, reason behind this that reading books needs lots of time which people hardly have now you all know that in today's time uh, we have the one mobile with us we have technologies with us so we hardly have time to sit and read a books understanding books needs lots of patience which is a rare commodity today reading books need a lot of patience following the knowledge contains in the books to make your better needs wisdom which is rarely found in people now people are happy to acquire knowledge from the social media platforms which are written by people who have tons of information but possess no experience of life we are more uh, emphasize or focus on internet on technologies so they have no time patience and ability to learn from books by great authors of the world who actually know what is life they have spent their life understanding the complexity of the wonder and share their deep wisdom through their writings but we are more uh, we all are dependent on nets now we are uh, using internet and finding all the information from the net but not uh, interested to read a book so uh, in modern generation we have achieved so many valuable things uh, like we can achieve wealth comfort wisdom faster communication knowledge and information all these are the things we can achieve however the modern generation has also lost couple of things which are invaluable in life if we achieve something we lost we also lost something those are time relationship patience so people today are so much focused on worldly things of life that they have lost touch with their soul now we lost our touch with soul they do uh, everything which can make them wealthy powerful and successful in the eyes of world rather than doing something the something can provide them inner satisfaction in a growth and joy so important reading is very important for all of us how can we improve reading habits in our children what are the uh, different uh, strategies or uh, what are the different ways to improve reading in uh, reading habits so i am sharing some reading habits so these are determine your reading goals you have to determine reading goals make a list of books for each month 
so make it your habit that you can make a list for your child at home read at least 10 to 20 pages a day make it habit that you also read and your ch child also read 10 to 20 pages every day invest in tools that encourage reading set reading times and days you have to set some time or you have to set some days for your child get a reading partner or book club it is good if you can find any club and join them what is the reason why we should read there are some common problems also we have some uh, problems also how we can so poor vision is a problem in all this we have to help our child to when they are reading they when in the starting years in the starting ages they need some help so we should help them in that so now we are coming on why children and parents should read together why we have to read with our children so parents and teachers have a common goal what is the goal to facilitate the best educational experience possible for students when parents and teachers communicate with one another they are able work together towards this this common goal so in this uh, important part is played by teacher as well as parents so research shows that parental involvement can free teachers to focus on the task of teaching children by having more connect with parents teachers learn more about student needs and home environment which is information they can apply towards better meeting those needs so it is important that children and parents should read together if you make it your habit your child also take interest in reading what is the role of teacher in developing reading skills what is the role of a teacher so a teacher can cultivate reading habits and build a child's character a teacher can inspire the kids by narrating interesting stories so when they are in the stage of early stage so uh, stories make them uh, create interest in them for reading a teacher must play the required role to instill moral values by mastering the ancient art of storytelling and also provide good selection of reading material to the children so teachers role is the important role in children's life so now i am concluding the webinar and uh, uh, i am sharing some uh, tips with you all how you can make them a good reader or how you can uh, develop good reading habits in your child that is here are some points so make the reading a daily habit make it your daily habit that you can read read in front of your child if you are reading your child will also start reading create a reading space it is the important thing that you can create a special place or a corner in your home or as a teacher in your classroom take trips to the library so as a parent as a teacher you can take trips to the library regularly let your child pick what to read don't force them that you have to read this only let them choose their own interest books find reading mom moments in everyday life so you find some moments that so that they can start this habit reread favorite books if there are some uh, favorite books of your child reread them those books learn more about how kids read so this is all what i want to share with you all today so it was really a great experience with you all uh, i thank you all, everyone every one of you that you have joined this webinar and hope it is beneficial for you as a parent or as a teacher thank you so much for joining this have a good day
बाय एवरीवन